In this video, we are going to grab the latest version of Fog Trunk, which is the developmental version of Fog, by no means uh, officially stable or a release of any of that sort. It's uh, just the trunk version, the bleeding edge, if you will. Uh, and we're going to be using the git method here described in the upgrade to trunk article in the fog wiki. This is located at wiki.fogproject.org and the name is upgrade to trunk. So we're going to use this git method here. <coughs> and we're going to use Fedora 23, but I will describe steps for Ubuntu and CentOS 7 down here in this notepad window. Uh, the first thing we need to do is install git. Now in Fedora 23 that would be dnf install git minus y to just go ahead and do it and uh, git is basically a revision control program. It's it allows you to manage different versions of source code. It's basically what it does. And later we'll use git to uh, check out the latest copy of uh, Fog from GitHub. Now to install it in Fedora 21 or CentOS 7, it would be yum install git minus y. In Ubuntu, it would be apt git install git minus y. Now to do this in uh, any of these operating systems you need to be either young, you need to be root or you need to run these commands as sudo or super user do um, and then it should work fine for you. Okay so it's installed and I would recommend Instead of using this, uh, this in the article here, it says to use some local folder. This is just arbitrary to show you, hey, you need to put it somewhere. I would recommend going ahead and making the directory where you want to put it, and then going into that directory. That way, when you execute this command, it happens in the directory you're in, instead of specifying the destination, which is just more to type out I feel so I would like my git repo to be in a directory under my root users home folder pwd is present working directory <coughs> right now we're in uh, forward slash root which is roots home folder and I want to make a directory called git so uh, we'll do mkdir space git and if we do a ls to look around, we'll see that we have a git directory now. We'll go into there with cd git. If we do a ls, we'll see this directory is empty. It's because we just made it. Uh, now we're going to just go ahead and git clone the uh, latest fog project developmental revision from GitHub. And I'm just going to literally copy paste this command from the wiki right here and then run it and it'll sync. This will sync uh, everything that there is. It's about at the moment uh, 200 some odd megabytes. If you only wanted to get the very latest changes the command could be altered to git clone and then a uh, space here dash dash depth one and that will only grab the very very latest which is only a few megabytes in size but for the uh, for this demonstration we're gonna grab everything we're already up to uh, 250 some odd megabytes so far we're getting there 90 percent 300 334 megabytes yeah this this command here, this command is much 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 faster. All right, so we've synced the repo. If we do a ls, we'll see a new directory in here called fog project. We want to go into there, cd fog project. And if we do a ls to look around, 
we'll see this stuff. This is basically the fog source code. We need to go into the bin directory to get to the main installer. So cd bin and we can do a ls to look around and we'll see this installer, this uh, shell script. To run this you need to be root or you need to be running as sudo or super user do. I'm already root so all I have to do is type period forward slash install fog dot sh and then when I hit enter the installer starts. <clears throat> to switch to uh, super user permanently for the duration of your session in Ubuntu it would be uh, sudo su or if you wanted to just temporarily run this it would be sudo period forward slash install fog dot sh and when I say temporarily this uh, the super user permissions will only apply to this command which in most cases is fine but I would really recommend just switching to super user permanently and that's it uh, then you're you follow on-screen instructions and you're on your way to installing fog